This 158 John Deere loader has a bad bucket cylinder seal, so it's just pouring fluid out anytime you try to curl back on the bucket. So we'll take it apart, reseal it, and take you through it. So we'll tap this gland end up in there. And then inside here is a little snap ring will pop out. And we'll loosen this pin. Tap it out. Then we'll slide the whole rod out. This nut's inch and five sixteenths. If you're having to gather tools, you can go somewhere and do it. So here we have the o-ring and the backup ring and you can tell that's pretty old just crumbles right apart and if we look in here you can see that seal the whole cup seal is cracked and that's why it's just pouring fluid out So there that is, nowhere close to holding pressure. So we'll go clean it up, wire wheel the outside a little, get it shiny, clean it up, then we'll knock this oil wiper out and then put it back together. That's all clean, ready to go back together. Then these oil seals, you can drive them with a socket or a pipe.
So then this cup seal, the cup always goes toward the pressure. So that would be the inside on this one. That one's fighting me, so I'm going to use the pillow. There it is. O-ring. And then the backup ring. Just like that. Then we're ready to go slide this back on the rod and reassemble. Then for assembly, snap ring, your round O ring. Your seals, it's gonna be a little tight because it's a fresh seal. Then the piston end, the metal goes against the metal. Then it's tight. That's a press fit, so it will be tight. And the nut goes on. Now we oil everything and assemble.
Tap that far enough for the snap ring. Slide that out. Tighten these down. Clean up a little and we're done.